Hello and welcome to this training session. My name is Ashraf Ayad and I'll be showing you one of the new features today in Mudbox 2010, which is the improvement on the wax tool. So in order for me to illustrate this, I am just gonna subdivide the object a few times. And to show how the old wax tool worked, it was pretty much like a sculpt tool with a, st a stamp on it. So if I do this for example, and I go over it one more time, and this is the effect you'll get now let's do the same thing with the wax tool and you'll see here there's a big difference this tool was building on top of whatever was there before so as if it acts as a multiplier however this tool it builds on it so this one is the one that's simulate with a real clay so when you're working with it you can easily use like for example a stamp map like this and the key is try to adjust your brush to accommodate the size of the or the density of that mesh so if I lower my intensity for a little bit zoom out a lot and now you can you can draw the muscles tissues really really fast and you don't have to do that whole thing of building and then go smooth and building and go smooth so you can see it acting really really nicely here fast and it's so much fun working with it to be honest with you right now so after you do that, you can even try working with the uh, fill. And if you see something that, for example, need to be filled more, and you can see, now I'm filling this, the, the spaces in between, right, like this, for example. So this is a good improvement now on the uh, wax tool. So what I have did right now is I used the uh, wax tool, and I had a stamp on it, and pretty much just created scales for my creature in here. Now the objective is do you want to paint only the scales and if the previous uh, cuts if you try to paint for example like this let me get a better angle you'll end up painting on everything both scales elevated and not. But with the dry brush tool what you can do is to use the dry brush and once you start painting as you will see it's going to paint on the elevated parts of the geometry this way you can easily paint over the scales and not the skin itself or what's underneath it and if you want to emphasize on the scales you can actually go and use the same dry brush but with the inverted function like with holding the control and you can see now it's not touching the elevated parts of the, the, the geometry it's just going in between the scales and just painting that so this way you can paint your geometry really really fast and emphasize on the parts that is elevated of your geometry like scales or uh, things of that nature. I hope you guys enjoyed this session and I'm looking forward to talk to you more.